Thanks for staying with us at STL Live. I'm Jade Harrell, and my guests today are Health Services Manager Candace De Silva and School Nurse Coordinator Cirilla J. Shaw. I am just really glad that you all are on the charge. And so we're looking at stopping this thing before it gets out of hand. Mm -hmm. What are some of the best ways that we can do that? All right, so as previously mentioned, the vaccination. Get the vaccination. Absolutely. Good Absolutely. hand washing with okay. soap and water. Mm -hmm. and now we're talking the, about children yeah we'll go in there and run water on their hands and come back and say i did uh -huh. we're talking about scrub yeah. and soap and all yeah. that so Good we want that washing. soap because <laughs> the soap is what kills the germs okay. and then the rubbing removes them okay and then when you put your hands under that water it rinses it all off of your hands Fantastic. hand okay. sanitizer if no soap and water is available right. so we're talking there's a difference between the germs germs and the virus if the if soap is so effective of killing the germs and washing them down the sink, then how does vaccination differ? It just takes care of it on the inside or? And on the inside. They work right. in so Yes, right. because see, you can breathe it in. Right. And so we want you to be vaccinated so mm -hmm. that even if you get a case of the flu, mm -hmm. it won't be as severe as it would have without that vaccination. For sure. For right. sure. Uh -huh. Now we, we say the flu, yeah. we're not talking about just a singular virus right. we're talking about so there are virus subtypes and, right yes tell me it, tell it more evolves about that. Uh, that virus mutates and so one of the factors that really impacts how effective that vaccine will be is how best the vaccine is matched with those circulating viruses in the community from a public health standpoint we know that getting an annual flu shot for those six months or older is one of the single most important steps for prevention and protection that you can take because there are a lot of serious complications that can result from the flu like pneumonia. There are also certain populations that are at higher risk of de developing those serious flu-related complications. And so we really don't want to see that occur in our community, specifically our children, like Nurse Shaw mentioned, and our mm -hmm. students, mm -hmm. but also the seniors, 65 years or older, sometimes with compromised immune systems. Mm -hmm. Those individuals who are dealing with they chronic con medical di conditions, yeah. right? Yeah, so the asthma mm -hmm. or the uh, diabetes. So a case of the flu can exacerbate all of those conditions and really yeah. put you in the hospital and knock you out for quite some time. Sure. And we're looking at missed school days in regards to students. And but it flu can be fatal as well, can it? It can. Or complications from it, rather. Correct. It mm -hmm. yes. So then what does it mean when we say this? there's different strains and we need different vaccines for different strains? Well, and we need to change the vaccination well, because got the flu changes? Well, you've got the A, mm -hmm. influenza A, and influenza B. Okay. Right. But the vaccine is effective against both of them. Does this change every year? It does. So are it we looking at a ahead lifetime of, of this cycle? Yes, we are. The flu right. will always be around. You right. can bank on it because don't, don't, this don't year's exactly. vaccination is based on last year's viruses. Uh -huh. And that's the best we can do is right. to prepare and try to plan for which way it's going to go. Right. And then we get that and then we are equipped as best we can be. Mm. Right. But the A spreads faster. Okay. Yeah. Why is that? Than the B. It's just a stronger, Look. more virulent. My goodness. <laughs> so we're not looking at a cure. Is there such thing as a cure for the flu where we can just eliminate this thing altogether? I think right now the vaccine is our best hope at it protection is. and prevention. Mm -hmm. And I know maybe there are sometimes some misconceptions or reservations about vaccinations in general. And we, Nurse Shaw and I came and did a segment on immunizations. But I would say with respect to that, just consult your doctor, have those open conversations so that you can best understand the right choice for you. Uh, vaccination is that best choice. Well then, we need to know where to get it and, and also to be sure that we have access. So remember that vaccinations are one of the best ways to prevent the flu. It's recommended for everyone six months and older yes. to get right. an annual flu vaccine. Once is not just enough. For more information, visit the health department at 1520 Market Street, room 4051, or you can give them a call at 314-612-5100, or just visit stlouis-mo.gov. There's more STL Live after this, so stay with us and stay vaccinated. <laughs>